Okay, so let me turn this parakeet on. Forgot to do that before I started the show. Yes, it's pretty. Oops, your feet. It has posable feet so that you can squeeze them together all the way, and he'll sit on your hand like this. The best way to hold it is like this. You have it on your forefingers and your thumb is holding it secure because it's not very secure and he will topple over, he's top heavy. So that is the best way to hold it. The instructions say to stroke its, to stroke its soft feathers and it'll respond, but I haven't found, whoops, a sensor for it to do that, so I don't think it's true. I think they're just having to do that for fun, because why wouldn't you pet your bird? I actually have a real bird. He's a cockatiel named Nippy. He can be loud at some times when he wants to. Okay, you take your bottle. This can be really tricky. I wish they had made the the bottle tip or the tongue rubber because it would be a lot easier. But it's plastic, so it slips all over the place like this. So to do it, just like you do with a real baby bird, you hold the head still, open the beak. Oops, I almost did that. And stick the bottle in and press down on the tongue, and it will eat. Don't squeeze too hard on the head and press down because you'll this will happen. It'll get stuck, and that could break the bird. So be gentle and make sure the head has move, has room to do this. Move. Do you hear that? That meow, meow, meow. That's my bird, Nippy. He's really loud. <laughs> that is the Frill Friends Newborn Parakeet. Oh, and by the way, there are different colors that you can find for the parakeet. In fact, there's only one more color. They call it mint. It's red and green and like stuff like that. 